Hello and welcome to the training on the schedule of values and uh, reporting tools. Uh, this is where we learn how to take all of this information that we've been uh, tracking in the project management tracker and quickly and easily, I mean in seconds, build a schedule of values and an invoice that we can send out to contractors instead of uh, uh, spending a lot of time trying to figure out the mathematics of getting paid. So we're back on the first cover sheet of our fictitious restaurant, Greasy Food, uh, our Greek restaurant. If we click on the uh, project management tab, we see that we go to the first page, the uh, uh, job information and change order uh, tab. If there are any notes or anything that I have to do here, I can do that. Uh, weekly progress. In other trainings, we've put in more weekly progress on this particular job that I've deleted out so that we can see how the schedule of values works. Now, I'm just going through these tabs. I'm clicking on productivity now. I'm just going through these tabs sequentially. You can go back and forth, do whatever you need to. Uh, I'm just reacquainting ourselves with the data that we've already entered. Now, okay, so the productivity in the next one is the schedule of values. As we entered information on our uh, on the cover sheet, let's just go back there really quickly. We first, in the first training, when we talked about uh, data entry, we we put in our costs and we talked about if you want to have margins or however you want to determine your costs are up to you. But the tool will separate your costs into three uh, lump sums: into material, labor, and managerial as you entered them on the cover sheet. So on the cover sheet we said 8000 for material, labor 7500 and it takes all the other costs and labels them managerial. And that includes our profit. Uh, we still have to bill for our profit and that's part of management. The better management we do, the more profit we get. And that's the point of the PM tracker. So it automatically uh, breaks everything down into the scheduled values and that the general contractors like to see. This is our first schedule of values for this project so we've uh, done zero dollars uh, per for previous completion we haven't entered in any information yet so current com <clears throat> completion is zero and completed to date same thing we haven't uh, entered in uh, any information and the balance to finish we still have the twenty five thousand dollars which was our original contract our adjusted contract was twenty seven thousand one hundred eighty eight and that's shown down here and it, again all automatically done for you down in the change order section on the right hand side we have the billing scoreboard same information just kind of breaks it down for us our original contract what was our approved change orders our total contract completed to date takes out retention for us and then we can change our retention if we have to if it's uh, it's never less in my experience less than five percent but it has been more I've had up to 10% re, uh, retention. If we have to change it, we do that simply by clicking that adjuster there. Total earned less retention and then previous invoicing. So, one thing that's, uh, in my experience again, that's always been difficult for contractors to know exactly is where are they at on the job. And then that becomes a point of argument with the general contractor who disagrees. Well, you, we don't think you've done 40% of the labor. Uh, we think it's more like 32 percent and then they change your invoice without telling you again that's the cool thing about the PM tracker is that according to the hours and production and everything else the the uh, PM tracker will tell us listen you've spent 80 percent of your budget on material 41 percent of your budget for labor and 69 percent of your budget has been spent on managerial so I can prove this thing with invoicing and, and the guys there and everything else. It even tells me how many footage, in, in this case, or units I have left to set or to complete 1650. But it's real easy to, to I don't have to sit and ponder and contemplate. I know, according to the PM tracker, and if, as long as my information is correct and up to date, it's real simple. I can just click over here, double click. I like to go 0.8 for 80%. And notice what happens. It automatically calculates, according to my budget, 80% of that, my current completion, completed to date, and then my balance to finish. If for labor, it says 41%, I'm going to go 45, just a little bit high, but not too bad. Now, you can always use the up and down arrows if you prefer to do that. I just like to double-click in there, and uh, percentages are always point 
7.75 and just put that in there and, and it happens real quick so immediately it tells me what my total contract completed to date less retention total earned zero previous invoicing and that's my current due I haven't put anything on my change order let's say that I did 50 percent of that and so that adds all of that in uh, and uh, I'm good to go so uh, let's say that we go to the next week okay uh, that's or let's say that we're billing weekly just for uh, purposes of this training so the next week that uh, next billing period I want to come in and uh, I, I want to uh, enter information so let's say that I did uh, 120 hours we did the hard work uh, in the first uh, billing period we're gonna finish it up now uh, what 1650 I think is what we had left to set materials uh, let's say that we had a, an additional thousand labor uh, I don't know 20 excuse me 2800 uh, 350 in taxes uh, no financing expense we'll say 150 and 50 okay so those are our expenses and numbers for the next billing period if we go to schedule of values now we can see that uh, I'm at 91 percent of my budget 74 percent of my labor 92 percent of my managerial but I have zero left to set so that actually in my mind I mean we can look at our budget completion we've completed 96 percent of my estimated budget but I'm done with the job uh, so that's good for me because that means I was able to complete the job uh, under budget and hopefully on time or better than the time we can double or you know double check ourselves and productivity and I'm great across the board except I'm a little over on man hours uh, went over a little bit on my budget for taxes and I hit my uh, overhead management uh, uh, estimated amount but other than that I'm exactly on or under what I had estimated so that's that's good but back to the schedule of values now I've already submitted the first schedule of values uh, so now I need to uh, now I have a previously invoiced and that's real easy so you just come over here I previously invoiced 80 percent I previously invoiced 45 percent I previously invoiced 70 percent and down on my change order I previously had invoiced 50 percent now I'm finished with the job so I'm gonna I'm gonna bill 100 percent that's you just type in one that's 100 percent one 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 so now we can look across the board balance to finish is zero I've completed to date 25,000 my current completion is 8575 previous completion was 1640 16425 same thing same information down on the change orders and my uh, billing scoreboard shows how exactly everything is played out total retention total earned uh, less previous invoice 9185 now how do we do uh, the reports now I can click on reports and you can do this every and you're gonna to want to do this every time you assemble a schedule of values and invoice just click on the reports tab you click first the the big red button may not look like it does anything but in behind the scenes it's it's loading all the pertinent information click to load the form and uh, this form should pop up uh, with your internet now you can use any browser uh, but uh, if you're going to be loading forms Internet Explorer uh, since this is Excel and that's a Microsoft program seems to work the best and so I suggest using that all we have to do is click in the box and then this little button up here with the clipboard is paste and it pastes information in blue here that you really don't want to touch uh, we can see that the information that we had for our personal company is all loaded here automatically and if I click on this down arrow down here at the bottom I have an invoice <clears throat> and it loads all of my information the name of my company my motto my contact information what the job is the address uh, the date now I may want to change the invoice number 
this it loads 100 but whatever invoicing system that you use for greasy food here's the builders and there should be their information uh, the original contract amount my, uh, plus the approved change orders, adjusted contract, work completed, less retention. Same information that's in the schedule of values, but breaks it all down so that there's no question of what's going on. And if that weren't enough, the schedule of values, the same thing. Uh, a lot of times it's going gonna, it's gonna to squash these columns together, so you can just come along and double-click on the little line, and it'll automatically expand everything out for you. But again, same thing. All of the information uh, that, that they need to do to get your uh, invoice paid and on time. Uh, on the schedule of values, again, you'll want to have your application number and for the period that you're billing for. But other than that, everything else is automated for you. And if you want to bring that down into your own Excel spreadsheet program, you just click here. It's going to say on mine, I have my security uh, settings this way. Do I want to do this? Yes, I do. I want to allow that. Uh, it's opened it up over here on another page for me, so let me bring that over. But this is just now in my own Excel spreadsheet uh, that I can save and uh, print out, email, fax, whatever I want to do, it's ready to go. Okay, so that is uh, the final training and, and on how to uh, change up your, uh, let me close everything out, how to uh, uh, permanently uh, save and load your schedule of values and your uh, invoicing. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's compatible with uh, QuickBooks or anything else that you, that you want to do. Uh, you can still invoice through those programs, but at least you have a printout uh, right directly from your PM tracker so that you can assemble those quickly, easily, and automatically. Okay, appreciate your time. We'll see you up on the other trainings.